Perhaps the first question to Secretary Geithner. Um, I know that you and the Obama administration are admiring India's growth rate, are, are see all the and, advantages. And fiscal deficit. And, and the <laughs> But there is sometimes uh, you know, a feeling in, in the advanced countries, in Europe, in the US, that this growth rate somehow subtracts from progress in the advanced countries. How do you, how do you kind of explain, how do you, how do you uh, elaborate on the interdependence of economies, on, on how, in fact, um, growth in the emerging market economies, particularly in India, under some circumstances, uh, is actually a, quite beneficial to the U.S. economy, to U.S. consumers, to U.S. investors, business. It's sometimes a hard thing to kind of really explain and get the message out. So maybe you want to take this opportunity to say a few words on that. Uh, easy case to make to this crowd, I think. <laughs> I think they believe it. But there's the press, yeah. so you know. It seems, I mean, it seems, uh, I think, self-evident to us, but I think you're right. It's not necessarily um, uh, accepted immediately by anybody, but I, I think the way I think about it is this. Um, you know, if you look at the American economy today, the most rapidly growing and the strongest parts of the American economy are the ones that are most able to benefit from the rapid growth we're seeing in India and in other parts of the world. You know, export growth has been very strong in the early stages of recovery, and if you look across agriculture, high technology, manufacturing, uh, the most resilient, most dynamic, most innovative parts of the American economy are those most exposed to the growth opportunities we see in the emerging economies. And I think by explaining to people that with that export growth, uh, you see more jobs, more opportunity, more income growth, you can help demonstrate to Americans, the average people, why we have such a strong stake in this relationship. But I think you're right to say at the beginning, which is uh, growth in India is good for the United States no threat to the United States, and the more successful uh, the minister and his colleagues are in putting in place reforms that will help unlock uh, future growth, uh, the better that will be for the United States. Just as is true also, as I said, that we benefit greatly from the sheer scale of Indian talent we have operating in the United U.S. economy today, uh, the ideas they bring, uh, the, the um, innovation they bring is good, is good for our economy. And again, as you can point, if you can point people to, as I think the President Obama was so successful at doing in November in India, if you can point people to the tangible benefits that come from more export opportunities, more investment opportunities, then they, they understand it better.